Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Saving Sunderland. Now of course it's been quite a while since we last met. We met against FC Basel where we beat them quite comfortably I believe. Yeah it was the 5-0 thrashing of FC Basel at home and today we have Barcelona at home. But there's been a very interesting development. This game could define our season. But before we jump into that, we'll quickly go over the fixtures since you last met. After that FC Basel game, we played Everton at home and won 3-0. Goals from Lincoln, Tangai and Dombele and Moise Kane got us the victory. We then had a fourth round League Cup tie against Exeter away from home. Enzo Cabrera and Harley Johnson getting the goals for us. It was a, a frustrating game because we should have scored a lot more goals, but we got through. That's what matters. We then had a disappointing away draw to Brighton. Uh, they got a man sent off on the 79th minute, but we could not capitalise. We did create a couple of chances where you would expect the quality of our players to shine through. But yeah, in a weird draw, the way things were going earlier on, we'll take it. And in the second tie against FC Basel in the Champions League, we won 3 0 on this occasion. Dimitar Alexandrov, Moise Kane, and Luis Enrique Irans getting the three goals for us. We then had an away tie against Tottenham in the Premier League. We won this one 2 0. Goals through Moise Kane and Francisco Trinco, who was really, really performing really well on that right side of midfield. We are struggling to find our first choice striker. Lincoln and Sugo are a bit hot and cold, whoever, st whoever starts, but we'll figure it out. Next up was a home tie against Wolves in the Premier League. We won this 1-3-1. One, one. A brace from Harley Johnson and a goal from Sugo securing the victory. They didn't really create too much. They did equalise in the 28th minute through back Yogo, but we quickly got back ahead and we quickly controlled the game from then on in. And this is the reason why this game against Barcelona really is important. We played Leverkusen away from home in the Champions League. Oscar Pfeiffer got himself sent off in the 23rd minute, which meant Leverkusen absolutely ran riot and beat us 4-0. So, we are on 9 points. Leverkusen are on 6 points. If they beat FC Basel and we get beat by Barcelona, that means we go out on the head-to-head. -head. We followed that up with a 1-1 away draw against Swansea. We were down for the vast majority of this game, but a 95th minute equaliser from Oscar Pfeiffer sort of... Fixing his mistake from the sending off against Leverkusen, let's say, secured us the point. We then had a home tie against Burnley in the Premier League. We won this one 2-0. Goals from Moise Keane and Lewis Enrique Arans getting us the victory. It was a tight game this, you know. They didn't create too much, but after our first goal, there were some edgy moments where I wasn't sure if we were going to get away with a win, but the 91st minute goal from Arans sailed the victory. And finally, the best performance of the lot was a 3-0 victory at home to Manchester City. We were in 6th in the league at the time and they were in 3rd and were absolutely controlled this game. They didn't create too many chances. Neither did we really, but we put away the ones that came our way. And all of that sees us lying in 5th in the Premier League table. We're only 4 points off top, of which is Man City now. So I'm not too disappointed with that. Watford are up there in 3rd, which is surprising. And Manchester United have fell off the pace after setting it early on. And of course we'll have a look at their group C. We are on 9 points, Leverkusen on 6, as I said. And the likelihood is they will beat FC Basel in that game. So they will be on 9 points. So we need to get something from this Barcelona game if we are to qualify for the next round. So this is the lineup that we're going to go with. We're going to start with Haller in goal, Rios, Luis and Diaz at centre-back. Luis is coming in for Oscar Pfeiffer who is suspended. As you can see, he does have a knock, a tight calf, but he should be okay for this game. And he is a wonder kid, so getting him the game time isn't so bad. Uh, t &E on left wing back, Althans on right wing back, Phil Foden and Endon Belly in the centre with Moise Keane on the left, Francisco Trincao on the right, and Sugo up top. So we get into this game against FC Barcelona, knowing that we need a result from this game to qualify to the next stage. As we can see by the league table, Leverkusen have took the lead against FC Basel. And we'll return to the highlight with Coutinho through on goal, but it was a poor shot and an easy save for our keeper. Oh, so it goes through here, and Dombelli is there. Phil Foden mops up. Can he get Tini away on this left-hand side? It's a penalty. Come on, boys. Put this away. Moise Kane steps up with a penalty, and he slots it away. We are in front against Barcelona. 1-0. We need a result, boys. Come on. Another highlight now to Stegen with a big kick up, but we can mop it up in defence. But we give the ball away in midfield. Alonso now in the centre to Coutinho on this left-hand side. He has the overlap from Mendy. He finds Alonso further up the pitch. He gets a through ball in, but Ruben Diaz cuts it out. The highlight continues with Cantier to Larios to Bailey on this left-hand side. 
right hand side, sorry, and very close opportunity there. We're lucky to get away with that. But just looking at the stats, we are. It seems like we are dominating in terms of chances, but maybe not key chances. Highlight now with a throw in on this right hand side to Phil Fodden. He tries to pay to the edge of the box, but it's cut out, and Diaz can claim the loose ball. And Dombelia now with the ball. Althens on the right hand side. Can he get the ball back? Pause to Moise Keane. Oh, it should be 2 0. And that's going to be that half time against Barcelona. We find ourselves 1 0 up. And if things stay as they are, we are going through to the first knockout round. And keep an eye on this table at the bottom. Leverkusen is still in the lead. Phil Fodden's actually off the pitch for treatment at the minute, so we need to be careful. Oh, this player's all coming through the central midfield where Phil Fodden would be to hopefully help us defend, but he's not on the pitch. Alonso, it's just wide. So we're going to get Phil off. He's struggling out there. We'll get Harley Johnson on in his place, and we'll get Milagres on for Kieran Tierney. Highlight now throwing deep in our own half for FC Barcel for Barcelona. We'll pick up the highlight with Kantier in the central of midfield. Plays it to Alonso. He finds Larios high up the pitch. It ends up back to Kanti in the centre to Alonso. To Leon Bailey on this right hand side. Back to Alonso. They're playing the ball about nicely. Semedo on this right hand side gets the cross in. It's cleared but it, he's, he's free there on the right hand side. It was a good job he didn't go for it. We're clear again. Can we break now with Sugo? He sets away Francisco Trincao. He's one on one with the defender. He beats him. Oh, and he beats the keeper as well. What a goal, my son. As we can see here, the ball's cleared. It goes to Sugo, who sets Trincao away. And he just absolutely does his man. Cuts inside him. And he manages to get the keeper. Beats the keeper. 2 0 Sunderland. This should hopefully secure our Champions League future. Another highlight now, Sugo sets Trinko away again, but this time on the left-hand side, he cuts in. Oh, very nice strike, but just wide. 80th minute now, I'm going to make my final change. I'm going to get Luis Enrique Aranz on for Moise Kane. See out this game, 10 minutes left to go, boys. 94 minutes, that's going to be that. We have managed to get ourselves through our group. It was a tough group, Leverkusen and no mugs, but we've managed to pull through with a 2-0 victory against Barcelona. Well, praise the boys out there because that was an absolutely fantastic performance. We obviously got beat by Barcelona in the semi-finals last season. So to get that sort of revenge against them after they beat us in the new Camp was really, really pleasing. So looking forward to the next episode. Again, it's going to be pretty much a mirror of last season. We're in the quarter League Cup quarter-finals. If we make it through, we will play the League Cup semi-finals in the January period. But if we don't go through... I might just skip straight to the Champions League first knockout round. I'm not messing about with this season. I want us to be able to see the key moments in this season. So, depending on how far we go in the League Cup, depends on when we'll come back. So, an absolutely brilliant result against FC Barcelona. Managed to sail our way through to the Champions League first knockout round. If you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you enjoy my content, why not get yourself subscribed? But until next time, take it easy.